The Republican National Convention opened a day late. And one of the first speakers who delighted the audience is someone who's familiar to Republican activists everywhere, Sharon Day of the state of Florida, co-chairman of the Republican National Committee. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. It's my honor. All right. You were one of the first speakers today, and that was appropriate because you helped bring the convention to Tampa and welcomed everyone. Oh, it was wonderful. All right. Tell me, has Tropical Storm Isaac crimped activities here at all? No, I think just the opening day that we pushed back, as we saw, and that was really not that we were concerned that Tampa was going to get hit by a hurricane, but the fact that the campaign, the chairman, we had the the Committee on Arrangements, host committee, had to come up with, you know, an agreement not to risk with the winds, the buses. If anybody's ever been in a van, when you get a lot of wind to it, so it actually became not a concern with that, but we wanted to protect, again, our delegates, our alternates, our guests, and again, some of the some of the guests were and alternates were going to be coming over a very tall bridge, so coming from Clearwater. So it was the right decision, and we hit the ground running, as you saw this morning, with our speakers that we got going. We're going to have a great first day. With We built it, um, and as we go forward, we're going to continue to show, um, a, again, a showcase our candidate, Mitt Romney and Paul Ryan, and I think the American public, and I think the world is going to love what they see. All right. As I listened to your remarks today, I was struck by the fact that you mentioned Barack Obama, Joe Biden, Nancy Pelosi, and Eric Holder. And Harry Reid. We're all right. mechanical, too. <laughs> Why is the Attorney General, Mr. Holder, a target of Republicans and uh, with you leading the charge? I think because of the dishonesty that we've seen in some of the Fast and Furious reports that we've gotten, not being completely honest, the overregulation. Again, when you have an administration with this Attorney General, that um, didn't allow an independent uh, private business like Boeing to open a plant in Charleston, South Carolina, when they found a way to stop it, I think that speaks volumes about the difference of this administration and this attorney general that's carrying the water for this president. And they literally did not allow Boeing, as we know, to open for quite a while. And it's a private entity. They have a right. We have a right as citizens, as businesses, to open another business where we want to. And Holder and Biden and Holder and Obama stop that from happening. Another Floridian that you know, former Governor Charles Crist, Republican turned independent, will address the Democratic National Convention and he has endorsed Barack Obama for re-election. Is he going to re-emerge as a Democratic politician in the Sunshine State? I don't know. I don't think it's about, to be honest with you, it is my home state and and, uh, with that, but I would say Charlie Chris, is, it's not really worth the waste of time in this convention to talk about America's got real problems, serious problems. This convention is uh, with Mitt Romney, with Paul Ryan. We're here to talk serious issues, and Charlie Chris is not a serious individual, and I think he's shown to all of us that when you stand for nothing, you fall for anything. Now, if he wants to fall for the Obama hype, that's who he supports. I think it speaks volumes that he stands for nothing and falls for anything.